Hi Aries, welcome to May 2018. May, the winds of change begin to settle down for you and you feel relieved. And that's because Uranus, who's been in Aries for the last seven years, moves into Taurus on May 15th. At the same time, the new moon is in Taurus and that brings the action to what you love and value your core values, what you want. And you're going to be thinking about that here in May, the rest of this year, and for several years to come, is what do I want in my life now? You've been through such a revolution and transformation the past seven years with Uranus in your sign. It hasn't left you alone, and so you've had to go through tremendous change and now you're on the other side of that and it's like okay well, what do I want in my life and this is the time for you to consider what you love and value what's important to you now looking at your finances you're going to be looking at your money with this big focus in here and Uranus revolutionizing how you make money and you could see a dramatic increase in income now over these next months and years to come and that's good news that's exciting and you know there are some things to be careful about here in May on the 7th Mercury in Aries does uh, square off with Pluto so watch for any kind of argument that could come up perhaps with a higher up at work or someone in authority in your life you could be having words with them be careful and especially on Twitter or Facebook you know on social media once it's out there it can come back to bite you later so if you're getting angry about someone something you know any sense of betrayal or um, games that people are playing and you just want to you know tell them off I totally appreciate that but it's a tricky transit and your words are so powerful just be careful around the seventh of what you're saying because you don't want it to come back later as something that you have to deal with so just be aware of that as well as Mars is right at the end of Capricorn and he is being challenged by Uranus who is right at the end of Aries and then into Taurus on, on uh, the 15th and the both of them are you know moving Mars enters Aquarius on the 16th and so it's this exact square uh, challenge you know right at this time where Uranus enters your your uh, money house and uh, we have the new moon in uh, Taurus which is a lovely new moon it is in harmony with Mars and it is in harmony with Pluto however Uranus and Mars are squaring off so you could have a bit of a temper going on at that time too there could be something at work that um, really pushes your buttons and you're feeling angry or you're feeling uh, you just want to you know handle it and that's okay you know just as long as you know that this energy can be incredibly impulsive and explosive and so you could be just really upset and then you just act on it and then the boomerang comes you know later the the uh, the effect of of uh, you know just chomping through the forest and then the next thing you know the branches are slapping you in the face um, because you're just cutting things down so just be aware there are some energies in here that are uh, testing you and your ego and your assertiveness and what you want and what you need and you want to make sure that you're being careful with who you're working with or interacting with 
and you're being careful with what you're saying and what you're doing so that it doesn't come back to um, bite you later on. And this is a revolutionizing energy. And you could even be having some brilliant ideas with that Mercury sitting next to Uranus in this area of your self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation, earning ability, and resources. And so you could be coming up with new ideas of how you can be leveraging your time, your energy, your money to create wealth in your life. And I am launching my new masterclass in June, which is all about building wealth, being wealthy, being abundant, empowering you so that you are abundant. And if you sign up for my free email, you will be notified when I'm uh, getting ready to launch the school, the academy, and this new masterclass, which I think is incredibly timely given that Uranus has stepped into Taurus and Taurus rules money, Taurus rules resources, Taurus rules what you love and value. And its time has come. So this is a very timely month energetically and it is all about you know envisioning what you want in your future what you want to see happen and you know some something new or someone new uh, just thrills you at this time too like this is a really exciting month for you it's a good month and there's something also happening here that can be um, breaking you free from the routine where you're feeling excited again and engaged in your day-to-day -day life and what you're doing. And that's really cool. Now, Venus is going to enter Cancer on the 19th and that is an amazing energy because it is forming a gorgeous grand water trine in here with Neptune and Jupiter and that's great for you know if you're thinking of investing in real estate or you know you want to beautify your home you want to make your home beautiful you want to uh, put your energy into making your office beautiful, your home beautiful. This is the time to do it. This is the month to do it. Now the sun is going to enter Gemini on the 20th and that starts to really get you out there socializing. It's a fun energy. It's a dynamic energy. This is where you could be meeting someone new if you're single or if you're you know, attached, you could be making a new friend. And this friend could be really exciting for you and fun and lifting up your spirit. And that's really cool. And then Jupiter is trining Neptune exact on the 25th. This is an incredibly healing energy. And the Venus is tied into it at the Sagittarius full moon on the uh, 29th. And that is exciting too and that's a, an awesome moon too so we have really good moons here the the Taurus new moon on the 15th activating your finances what you love and value focusing you in on what you want and then this full moon in Sagittarius has a gorgeous grand fire chine with it to Chiron now in Aries and the North Node in Leo forming this grand fire trine to the moon in Sagittarius inviting you to travel to uh, it's a great time for you to take a class this is a great time for you to expand your horizons you know in some new way it's time for you to do something new that feeds your soul something that you're doing for yourself whether it's taking a class or a vacation or traveling or um, you know maybe you're doing something new techno you know with the technology 
uh, for your work that's creative and expanding you out into the world which is also going to be a money maker for you that's exciting too this full moon is very positive it has a lot of new possibilities and for you the possibilities is about you know building something new in regards to education higher learning podcasting broadcasting publishing promoting yourself what you do in a creative way and the gorgeous grand water trine is in here too at the time of the full moon and that's exciting because that is a very healing energy and that can help to heal you know any pain that you've been in or discomfort or just stress this is an energy that's very healing and nourishing and nurturing I really like this energy for you and you know with mercury and Taurus for most of the month then it moves into Gemini on the 29th you know this is a great time for you to focus on money manifestation like how you're manifesting your abundance how you're manifesting your prosperity how you are attracting it how you're bringing it to you and this is the time for you to think about it and you know also with Mars entering Aquarius on the 16th this is a good time for you to make new friends <clears throat> put yourself out there what about groups that you belong to are you feeling fed by the groups that you're connected to or the friends that you're connected to you could either be cutting away from you know friends or groups that no longer serve you or you could be meeting new people and replacing the old with the new you are ready for the new Aries you're ready for the new you're ready for your life to feel exciting and interesting yet you want it to be in a way where it's calm in a way where you know it's it's digestible it's it's at a nice pace and I do see that for you and you know don't forget to play too like this is a good month for you to have fun and play that North Node is still there in that area of play and fun and creative self-expression and taking chances and taking risks and you want to do that this month for yourself is take a new class try something new experiment put yourself into a new environment and see where it takes you because it could be something that is interesting and energizing and open you up into new areas and that is feeding your soul feeding your sense of adventure because you do love adventure and it is exciting and this is an amazing time for you Mars is going to be into in an Aquarius for a really long time because next month he takes his turn to retrograde and so he's just going to camp out in Aquarius for most of this year and that is all about new expectations your hopes and wishes new goals so you are setting new goals and it comes to what you love and value now what you really want think about that what do you want at this place in your life what's going to feed your soul what's going to feed you what's going to feed your bank account these are the things that you're going to be focusing on for some time to come and it's good and it's exciting yes Uranus can be unpredictable we can be like flying up and then it can drop you know like the stock market whoop 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 you know so there can be a bit of that too so it's always good to have plan B ready to go in your financial planning make sure you got plan B there just in case um, 
Uranus starts tripping out on you, tripping out on all of us. And be open to new horizons. Be open to new adventures. It is what the universe is serving up in here for you. And it's a fun time for you to socialize. Gemini sextiles you. And that invites you out into the community. It invites you out into the world so that you can take advantage of these new connections, these new relationships, these new opportunities that will be coming your way and is incredibly exciting. There's new things on your horizon that's going to expand you out into the world. Just watch out, like I said, around the 7th and then around the 15th and 16th with the Mars uh, being challenged by Uranus. Those are days where you could be, you know, feeling like your buttons are being pushed and you react and then you have to do some cleanup around that. But other than that, it looks really good for you this month. And you're ready to take a break from your routine. You're ready for new adventures, new friends, new relationships, new opportunities, new ways of building abundance for yourself. For those of you open for love, I see someone new here. And I see that this person can be very fun for you. And that it is like it thrills you. It's, you're on a new adventure and it totally breaks you up from your routine and you love it. You're just uh, uh, excited about um, the new energy in your life. Money looks good and you are all about money manifestation and you will be over the next several years. And it's exciting because you're revolutionizing how you build wealth in your life, how you attract it, how you use it how you make it grow. And like I said, I have a class that can help you do that. Career is very good too, because the new moon is in positive energy flow with Mars and uh, Saturn. And that can uh, promote you so that you have an opportunity to move up in what you're doing. And you could be getting a bonus. You could be seeing a bonus. You could be seeing an increase in your money by the middle of the month from the work that you do in the world. And that's exciting too. So career is very stimulated at this time. Career will be over the next several months. Next month, the full moon and Capricorn will be there for you and bringing a lot of energy to your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, what you do in the world, your status in the world. It does look very good for career. Whether you own your own business or you work for someone else, you could be getting a bonus, an expansion of income in here related to career and work. And spiritually, you know, is this is a wonderful month for you, especially, you know, at that Sagittarius full moon to get out into nature. You know, Taurus is, is Gaia. You know, it is, that's why we celebrate Earth Day during this, this month of May. And, you know, get out into nature because nature is just amazing and healing. And, you know, do things that lift your spirit up, that inspire you. And you will find that you're really connecting to your higher self at this time. And it's just amazing for you. And it's time for you to really connect with what you want. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my videos. Aries, you're rocking awesome. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I'm getting ready to launch the Wealthy Goddess program in June. I would love for you to be part of the program. If the link is below to sign up for the email. Once you sign up and you get a free gift, you will be uh, looped into 
when we uh, get ready to launch and that way you'll know and be ready to go. So until next time, Aries, someone new or something new just thrills you. <laughs>